Hi friends! It's been a pretty awesome day. Let me tell you all about it. First of all, when I woke up this morning and it was time for me to go pick up my son and drive him to school for his zero hour class, my doors were all frozen shut on my van. I could not find a way to get in. It was unlocking, it just wouldn't open. So I called my husband in a panic and luckily he wasn't too far away and he was able to go get him. So crisis averted. Um, then when it was later and it warmed up and I could open my van doors, thank goodness, I drove my friend's daughter to school and on the way back there was a train blocking our street so I decided I'll go to the store right now and buy some things that I need. Only I had just paid some bills and left my wallet on the table. So I did my shopping and I got to the checkout and the lady told me, okay, that'll be $28. And that's when I realized I didn't have my wallet. So I went all the way back home, had to get my daughter in and out of the car and all that multiple times. <laughs> got my wallet, went back bought the food, and then later this afternoon my friend informed me that her daughters who come over every day both have lice from their friend. <laughs> now, we had this episode years ago when my boys got it at school and gave it to our daughter who was one way back then, and her hair was so fine the comb didn't work and I had to use my fingers to get every little knit out of her hair. And of course she didn't take kindly to it, being only one. And I would wait for her to fall asleep. I was up until 3 a.m. every night with a flashlight and a magnifying glass trying to find everything in her hair. And then she got it again a couple weeks later. So I do not want to go through this again. <laughs> I will try every home remedy, proven or unproven, except for the kerosene thing. Although I might get to the point where I decide I do want to light my hair on fire. So I have a plastic bag on my head. <laughs> First I did a rinse of apple cider vinegar, which supposedly uh, dries up any knits or it makes the so-called glue dissolve. I had some apple cider vinegar so I got in the bathtub and I dumped it all over in my hair and you're supposed to let it dry in your hair. Well not only did that make me cold it ran into my eyes which burns very bad. Oh I didn't tell you what else happened today. I accidentally ate deodorant you know the labels that say in case of accidental ingestion or in case it accidentally gets in your eyes? Well apparently that labels for me. Can you guess how on earth I possibly ate deodorant? Okay, write down your guess in the comments. Anyway, my husband looked for any possible lice in my hair. He didn't see any but I'm not convinced and I'm paranoid and if my two-year-old gets it I'm gonna lose my mind. And supposedly oil can suffocate lice which you have it would have to be on for a long long time. I'm okay with that. I will sleep with coconut oil in my hair. I don't care. So after I let the vinegar dry in my hair while I sat in the bathtub I rubbed coconut oil all over my scalp as much as humanly possible and I've got like this Ziploc bag and it's bobby pinned and I'm going to sleep with this thing on and it's going to drive me crazy all night but not as crazy as I would be if I had bugs in my hair. I hate lice. I'm going to have to get up early in the morning, I think, and vacuum everything again. 
Now I'm going to show you the best part of my day. I went to a Christmas party. It's a late party for our choir. And I won this Chewbacca goblet. This goblet might be the link to my sanity. I feel so much better. Now I have one question for you. Does your head itch? <laughs> You're welcome.